In this video, I'll show you how to vertically stretch and compress a sinusoidal function in the form y is equal to a sine b bracket x minus c plus d. Now this also applies to cosine. The question asks, sketch the graph for the following sinusoidal functions f at x is equal to half sine x and f at x is equal to 3 times sine x. So in our first function here, I want to compare that to the template and you'll notice that the a value for this function is equal to half, the b value is equal to 1, c is equal to 0, and so is d. So we're concentrating on a, 0 0.5. What does that do to the sine function? Next what I'll do is draw your typical sine function, sine x, and it looks like this. And if you've done this correctly, your wave should have this appearance. So what does 0 0.5 do to this sine wave function? Well, when your a, in our case it's half, is between negative 1 and 1, so when a is between negative 1 and 1, and of course where a cannot equal to 0, what this does is vertically compress the wave. In other words, the y-coordinates will occur half as fast as they would normally. So instead of being this high, it would go up to only half. And similarly, we would end up with a wave that looks like this. All of the y-coordinates for these points will be halved. And as a result, you will get a wave that is half the height it was originally. This is known as a vertical compression. What happens to the wave when your a value is greater than one or less than negative one is you end up with a vertical stretch which means that your y values will be happening three times faster and as a result of that your original wave which is the one that's shown will be a lot taller than it was that is three times taller and you would end up with a wave that looks like this and this is referred to as a vertical stretch so to summarize what happened here, the x-intercepts of our original wave remain the same. Notice. In addition, all of the points along the wave, the x-coordinate remained the same. The only thing that changed is the minimum and maximum values. So this right here was the maximum value, this was the minimum value, and what we did for each case was multiply, in our case here, multiply that by 0 0.5 and for the purple we multiplied negative 1 by 3 and that ended up becoming 270 degrees and negative 3 as the y coordinate. And so there you have it. That is how to vertically stretch and compress a sinusoidal function.